Ladies and uh, gentlemen, Bungle, hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about War Thunder and, you know, what can it learn from its other game enlisted, the World War II free-to-play first-person shooter. Now, if you may be wondering, you know, who I am or, you know, what am I doing here? Well, primarily I would say I'm more focused on enlisted with my channel. I do cover a lot of content from enlisted. And when I first started my channel, originally I was trying to be a War Thunder channel, kind of have some content and reviews I was doing and talking about events and stuff in War Thunder. And I kind of stopped playing War Thunder for a bit when Enlisted started, you know, popping off, you know, move my channel focus to Enlisted. Because in my opinion, I, I think Enlisted definitely of the two games is definitely better. And there's kind of reasons why with mechanics and stuff like that, that I feel that Enlisted uses that War Thunder could benefit from. So on War Thunder, kind of how it works, as you go and start a tech tree, whether it be aviation, it would be vehicles, it would be ships, it has tiers. As you progress through each tier, you have to unlock a certain amount of vehicles, and as you unlock a certain amount of vehicles, then the next tier unlocks and everything like that. They have a thing called battle rating system. So basically how it works is a plus one, minus one system. So if something has a battle rating of 4.0, it will see up to 5.0 vehicles and down to 3.0 vehicles. So that's typically your matchmaking bracket. Now, as in for game modes, when you go and play game modes like arcade battles, you play realistic battles and play simulator battles, basically each of these game modes varies in rewards as well as difficulty. Arcade battles is the easiest given the name arcade battles. When you go play realistic battles, you get kind of more risk, more reward with it, especially if you play aviation because when you play irrealistic battles, you only have one one aircraft, right? One one life, and you take out the aircraft, you get shot down, game over, go back to the garage, take another vehicle out. Whereas if you play ground realistic battles, you have the possibility to respawn into another vehicle or a, a backup of the same vehicle you just got killed in, depending on how many backups you have and everything like that. You can also take aircraft at, into combat as well. You usually get points that you accumulate from how well you do. If you do really well, of course, you can take out your entire lineup. And lastly, simulator battles is more of the hardcore option for tanks and for aircraft. This is pretty much when you're taking it out and you basically, it's all on you. You have to control movement of your aircraft. You don't have an instructor that's kind of there to kind of help you manage the more realistic side of aircraft. Everything is on you and it's highly recommended to use joysticks and everything like that when you play that game mode. So basically giving you a summary of kind of what War Thunder is, you know, what can we go and look from Enlisted? Well, Enlisted right now has a squad mechanic and it has its Lone Fighters game mode, which is kind of like if you played Hell Let Loose or Postscriptum, Arma, there's kind of realistic game modes. But generally, the selling point of Enlisted is squads. And squads generally is a lot of fun because it includes AI, but it also has a tendency, unlike War Thunder in my opinion, to keep the battle going. It doesn't matter how many squads you bring out. You're not limited to the amount of squads you bring out. You will always have the opportunity to respawn in the same squad you died in. Now you have to go and use other squads, right? But it has a little cooldown, and then you can go back into that squad. What I really like about Enlisted, being a War Thunder player, is that when I'm in a match, I'm in a match. I'm not limited to either how well I do or how bad I do. It's really fun knowing that, hey, I just got clobbered in this one squad I really like well I can use this other squad and then I can go back to using that squad I really like so that's one thing I really like about Enlisted is that regardless of the battle that I'm in I'm always going to be able to use everything that I have and I'm not limited to like how bad I do or how good I do right I'm going to have the opportunity to use all those squads so kind of my perspective looking back into War Thunder now we have ground realistic battles which arguably I would say a good majority of the War Thunder play base play, contrary to Enlisted, when you go and play this game mode, if you're doing bad, you usually just respawn once, if not at all, and you're done. And you're kind of just done. Like, if you got took it out right away, you didn't kill anything, you didn't capture any objectives, it punishes players very quickly, and it tends to kind of lead to landslides, especially if you're on the team that's getting clobbered. So, what I feel that War Thunder should borrow, and same with Irrealistic Battles, right? Usually, especially at top tier when you're playing, like, say, a MiG-23, F-4 Phantom, usually you respond, you take off the airfield, you go into combat, and you shoot down as many as you can before you get shot down. That's pretty much it. That's it. And especially if you get taken out at the beginning of the match, or you're on that team that's doing pretty well, but you still haven't gotten a kill, it's not really fun. It's like a quick match, ends in, like, five minutes. 
Whereas enlisted, usually the matches will go on for a good 20-30 minutes. It depends on how many objectives are being captured during that game mode, but typically a, a good match is like 20 to 30 minutes. Even the quickest match can be 10 minutes. So kind of what I feel that War Thunder fails to do, that it should learn from Enlisted, is have that continuous battle going on in the game. Enlisted is always constant combat, all the time. There really isn't really much dead space in Enlisted, it's just a constant furball. So one of the ways that War Thunder can kind of better from Enlisted is just having that continuous furball. And a great example is air realistic battles. Air realistic battles, in my opinion, is just kind of weak. The problem with it is that you spawn in one vehicle, you take it out into combat, and you get killed. You can either have a good game, or you can just be killed instantly, and you're back into the hangar. At top tiers, it's really bad. You basically take out into combat within five minutes. You, you either win or lose. You either killed someone, or you killed nothing, or you got taken out pretty quickly. And even in two minutes, you'll be back in the hangar. And that's the problem, because in my opinion, it's kind of boring. And at the same time, it's just, it's not really fun, right? How is it fun not to have a continuous game mode when everything's just very, very quick? And just the risk and reward is very high. If you do not do well, if you're kind of an average player or whatever, you are not, you're going to have a harder time grinding and researching and everything like that. Whereas if you're a skilled player, you get rewarded. But I feel like in Enlisted, you still have that opportunity, regardless if you're good or bad, to go and have the opportunity to still get a lot of XP because you are continuously participating in the battle. You always have the opportunity to respawn and come out into combat. So what I kind of feel that War Thunder should take away, starting with uh, aerialistic battles really, is have a lineup that you can take out in the combat, right? And have it like, you know, rotate it around. So if you take out, let's say, a F4 Phantom and you get killed with it, and you can take out your F5C, you take it out of the combat, and you take out, let's say, a bomber, like the A7D or whatever like that. And, and this way, just recycling through the aircraft, whether it be attackers, whether it be fighters, kind of gives that battlefield dynamic, right? If you have an attacker aircraft, you can go try to bomb bases and everything like that, try to go push the enemy front line back. Same with dogfighters, having people trying to intercept bombers, everything like that. It's just kind of an idea that I feel like War Thunder definitely, in my opinion, needs to be updated with its game modes and everything like that. And a great way of starting with it is pulling from Enlisted. Now, Ground Realistic Battles, on the other hand, has a dynamic position where some vehicles are weighted heavily than others, depending on the battle rating that you're at. So if you're at a lower battle rating, let's say you're a 4.0 and a 5.0 battle rating system, your spawn points are going to be lower. But if you're in a higher battle rating system like you are top tier, then your vehicles are going to be weighed more heavily. My opinion, like I said, I feel like Enlisted just has that constant furball effect. So if they had the same thing like aerialistic battles where you have the opportunity to respawn, go into combat, and go and do well, have the ability just to take out vehicles constantly, whether it be aircraft, whether it be vehicles, just having that ability to constantly keep that op tempo so that way you're just continuously engaged. Whereas in, in War Thunder, there are times where it's just very stale. Having constant combat, not penalizing your players for doing poorly, allows the player to actually have a fun time in the game. And I feel unless it does this very, very well. War Thunder, on the other hand, in my opinion, weighs heavily towards skilled players. And if you're not a good player, you're not going to have a good time. So I feel to kind of fix the issue that War Thunder is having is kind of look at what Enlisted does. Have the ability to go and take out multiple vehicles in the combat. Have the ability to cycle through them. A respawn grace period as that vehicle got destroyed or took out or whatever and be able to use everything in your lineup and have a dynamic battlefield. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Like and subscribe and hit that like button to help me with the YouTube algorithm. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. If you want more War Thunder content from me, let me know down below. I've just been playing it recently and I was just wanted to give my thoughts on the game. I've been playing it for a very long time. Very big fan of it. And um, yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.